What's up guys, Champ here bringing you another Black Ops 3 gameplay. Today we're playing a little hard point on, of course, the map Nuketown. I got for you another 100 plus kill gameplay. In this game, I die a little more than I usually die just because I try to make a comeback in this game. I'm playing with my buddy, Mr. Cod, and we both really tried to push for this win and fell a little short, but it wasn't too bad because we did come back from over 100 points in this game. Speaking of Mr. Cod, he was nice enough to give me a gameplay of his, which is actually going to be an 84 and 1 kill death ratio on this very map right here. So in the next couple of uploads, that's probably going to be popping up on my channel. Now I already viewed that game and he goes off in the game. It's not like he's just camping around waiting for people to come to him, killing with his streaks. No, he's getting all up in the enemy's face, giving them the beating they deserve. In this game, he manages to pull off, I believe it's a 47 gun streak, which means, yes, he did get the nuclear, and then he got 17 more kills after that. Think about how ridiculous that is on this map right here. Very hard to do. Me and him have been playing together since before Call of Duty was even around. Back when we first started, there was a little game called Resistance Out, and it was one of the first first-person shooters. So we played that a lot, right up until the point where the first Call of Duty came out that we started playing, and we have not looked back since. Me and him still play together a lot, and because this game has something called theater mode, you could just go back into theater mode and take his gameplay. I could record it, and then I could show it to you guys, and he's given me permission to do this. He doesn't have a YouTube channel, but this is a way for him still to be able to show you guys all his great gameplays, and he has a lot of them. Here in this game, you can see I'm playing really aggressive, maybe overly aggressive that led to a a couple deaths that I probably could have avoided had I played just a little smarter. But then again, maybe I wouldn't have got the 100 plus. Later on, you'll see that my streaks do go off in this game. So if I was able to get those maybe one or two more times, this easily could have been 150 kill gameplay. Also, I keep dying in bizarre ways in this game. You're about to see one coming up right here. This guy just completely wrecks me with a sniper right off my streaks two times in this game. Here it comes right now, actually. This guy's going to jump shot me off the wall. Boom, right to the face. No problem. He must be a professional. Sign him up right now. If he could make shots like that, he is a pro. Truthfully, he doesn't kill me that many times. Both times he does, he just happens to take me off my streak. And did you see what I just did to that guy? He got owned. I just double jumped over his head, ran up in here, and just killed these guys. I pop in my combat focus. I was hoping more people were in here. I'm going to get some kills here with the combat focus, but I got a little nervous. I see that red dot on the mini map, and I thought maybe these guys are spawning behind me. I don't want to get killed off my streak, and also maybe I'll be able to just turn around and kill them. They do start spawning around me, so I was right. So I go ahead and I sneak around this corner, and I like to hang out in this spot right here. A lot of times they run out, and they don't exactly look back, so... It's a good little spot to hang out and let them just run by you a couple times. Now I'm going to make a huge bonehead mistake. I don't know what I was doing there. I know I was probably trying to reload or something. I hit the wrong button and I ended up with my fists in my hand. And that one really cost me because I could have got my streaks again right there. And I, we would have probably won this game had I done that. Because we make a huge comeback starting soon in this game. I was able to pick up my town at least so far in this game, which did help a little bit. It put in a little bit of work, but these guys, they weren't really that bad of players. They were pretty good, actually. They really tried to win, and they weren't just going to let the town stay up. That's when you know you're playing against pretty good people, and they don't just let your streak stay out there and beat up on you. They actually have a class ready to go to take down your streaks, which I think everybody should have a class to take out streaks, at least one. You need to have one spot that's just ready to go, just in case the other team has one guy that's just really putting up a lot of streaks. Here I get a nice little four piece on these guys. One, two, three, and whoop, pop the focus, slide, and four. How do you like that? I know he didn't like that one very much, but I liked watching that one, that's for sure. 
That was the play of the game for me right there. And I think sometimes when you get a nice play, it really just gets you motivated. You start feeling good about yourself. Next thing you know, there's someone camping in the corner and kills you. No, but really, next thing you know, you start playing really well. You're like, oh, geez, I'm the man. You see that four piece I just got? And then you start playing a little smarter. Your shots start hitting a little better. So sometimes it's best to not get discouraged at the beginning of the games. In this game, I took a lot of deaths. Mostly at the beginning and then a couple at the end because I was trying to win. But then once I got that little four piece right there, you'll see that my shots all of a sudden they just start hitting. The confidence is back. And that's key in this game. You have to play with confidence. If you're playing no confidence and just angry and raging, you might as well turn off the game right there. Because you're going to have a bad time for the next like 10, 20 minutes until you take a break at least. Or until you do something really well or have a really good game. Which you probably won't because you're going to be raging too hard to make that happen. So if you haven't noticed, I'm playing a lot smarter now. My shots are on point. I'm pretty much playing how I should be playing all the time, but I was just really rushy at the beginning. See, I jump on the base. I'm like, I know I'm the first one there. I'll get a quick hundred, jump on the base, jump off. I would have normally stayed on, but I have my streaks, and if I stayed on there, there's pretty much a guarantee that I would never would have got the rate for the wraps here. And you will see soon that getting this Wraith and these wraps ends up being a big deal for my team. I mean, we are down 80 points, exactly 80 points at this time. And we are going to make a huge comeback. And I think my streaks had a lot to do with that in this game. One of the best things to do when you got the streaks like the wraps and the Wraith out is just try to rush your enemy. A lot of the times if you get into the spawn, they're going to be sitting there with rocket launchers in their hand trying to take out your wraps before they could drop more balls. So if you can get in there and get at them when they have those rocket launchers in their hand, it's easy kills. Look at this. Now I am owning the kill feed right now. My streaks are going in right now and I said you know what I want to have some fun too I can't let the streaks get all the kills so let me pop into this spawn real quick run up in the hard point and take this over I must have just got like 15 kills easy in just like the last 20 seconds here so normally I wouldn't just kind of hang out in the hard point like this I know I'm pretty close to my streaks I was kind of hoping someone would run back through that door or I'd kill that guy right there, but it just didn't happen. You're about to see that that sniper strikes again. That is two times in this game that he took me right off my streaks. Had I got those streaks right there, I think we would have been able to get this comeback because we still come very close in this game. Now there's nothing left for me to really do but to just rush the hard point. And they're rushing the hard point too. I think there's only like one or two of us on this team that's actually trying to get this win. We were down 80 points. Now we're only down 20. So it is possible, but there's only 30 seconds left. And there's only so much two people could do. I mean, look at that guy. He'd even run out. Now he decided to join me. So I'm pushing up on this hard point. I get a couple kills here and there, but the spawns are crazy on hard point, and boom, there goes a guy with a sword right in my back, stabbing me up. So that is about it. I mean, we made a nice comeback. This game I had to get from theater mode, though. It was almost out of time. I didn't realize you could only hold 300 games in your theater mode. So there's a lot of good games that I'm never going to get to show you guys, but that's alright. I'll just have to make some more. I got plenty more to come. If you guys like what you saw, hit the like button. If you want to see that 84 and one gameplay, I got plenty of other gameplays coming up. 100 pluses, how-tos, hit the subscribe button. This has been Champ at Champ Gaming. Come see me.